Richard, I'm going to turn it over to you and you have the floor. Okay, so uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Richard. Uh, we are Crypto Arsenal. Here we have uh, Alan. Hey, uh, thanks a lot for having us. It's a pleasure. And, and also Zhang Jun. Zhang Jun. Yeah, we're, we're come from Taiwan and currently, you know, the batch 14 co-host startup of Skydeck. And thank you so much to have, have us here. So let me just uh, give you a very brief uh, introduction about what we are doing. So can you see the screen? Yep. Yeah. So basically we are a, a SaaS crypto trading platform, uh, but uh, a little bit different is that we don't generate or develop our own strategy. Instead, we provide tools for a uh, capable quant to develop their own. So you can think of our solution just like a, a Airbnb for crypto trading. So Quan can uh, develop their own strategy, test that strategy, and even launch the strategy with their own money to exchanges. And of course, if they want, they can also publish their strategy to Arena. And we will do the ranking afterward with uh, 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 you know, real-time market data. So uh, investor in the other side can directly leverage from the, the strategy in Arena. Uh, of course, firstly, we, they can test the strategy you know, through bad testing engine and simulation engine and eventually launch the trading bot. But before, they, before launching, uh, our model is that they have to deposit a, a, a split into smart contract, which, is, which can be viewed as a escrow account. Then they got the access right to launch the trading bot for live trading. And, and, and as long as the trading bot get money, then the split in the smart contract will be going to Quant's wallet. So we, we call this split as your profit model. Okay, so uh, let me just uh, give you a uh, 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 demonstration a little bit. So I think, I think you're sharing the PowerPoint. You have to share your screen. Did I? Okay. Oh, okay. Well, can you guys see the web page, like the Chrome web page? Oh, we see the solution slide. Oh, the, the PowerPoint, right? Yeah. I'm sorry. Think, yeah. I think we shared the wrong screen. Um, yeah. All right. Let us know if you can see the uh, the Chrome. Now we can see it. So okay. Uh, let me just go to our website a little bit. Yeah. So as I mentioned, for Quant, we provide a highly integrated, you know, uh, development development tool to for them to to you know develop their their uh, trading idea through Python, yeah. And they can have, they can choose whatever market they want. And also whenever they, uh, in, whenever they um, doing their coding, they can test immediately by, you know, setting some parameter here. Yeah. For example, uh, the bed testing period and the, the spread feed, and of course the virtual uh, investment money yeah, and then you can just quickly click the run and debug. And then the equity curve will be shown, you know, yeah, probably one minute or a few seconds uh, later. And then you can see how good or bad this performance uh, is by looking at the performance metrics. Yeah, and then you can continuously to you know, modify to to do do the uh, development, and once you, so so of course, and once you've done your your development, you can you know continue to bad testing, yeah, and and the bad testing and also uh, simulation, do the simulation. So yeah, so oh sorry, the the the, the number number is. I just use up the simulation number. And, and once you've got the confidence, you can launch the, the trading bot for live trading by hitting you know, uh, the live trade button. Yeah, so you can take four steps to launch a trading bot yourself. Uh, I have no money. In, uh, yeah, but just so uh, I, I can do it uh, later uh, in another part. That will be more uh, complete. You know, and, and once you want to 
for example, you, if you want to, you know, uh, submit this strategy to, to Arena, you, can, you just can click, click this button and they will go, go through four steps and you need to fill out some uh, a phone, phone and then, then you can uh, uh, accomplish the, the submitting process. And once you meet our criteria, then we will put your strategy on Arena. So Arena is basically designed for investors. Uh, investors can choose uh, as many strategy as they want, which are best fit to their personal risk preference. They can use our you know, uh, filter to fill, fill out you know, uh, the strategy. Yeah. And then you need, what you need to do next is to add them you know, to a uh, watch list. You can uh, add them to an existing one or you just create a new one. So you just add to the watch list and then you just come to the, this watch list to further validate these strategies in the, in the watch list, you know, by again, uh, bad testing and then or, or simulation. Let me just, uh, oh, simulation is, okay. So let me just show you a bad testing. So uh, for example, next step, just choose uh, the, the testing period in the past. Yeah. Let's click the bad test. So yeah, then it will immediately do the bad testing for you. And you, you can see the result, you know, based on the period you want to test. Okay, so you can see some metrics here. Yeah. So we always believe that uh, if you want to do, if you really want to you know, make money, you should know that uh, strategy you, you, you adapt. Uh, first of all, you need to know what the risk is and how much uh, you know, reasonable money you can expect. So I, I believe um, quantitative trading is the trend in the in current and even in the near futures. So again, let's go back to Arena, uh, go back to, sorry, uh, watch list. So the last step is that when you just feel confident, feel comfortable about the, the strategy you adapt through bad testing, through uh, live trading uh, simulation, then you can launch it live. So four step takes you to go through a you know uh, uh, trading bot launch. First of all, you need to provide us the API key. Yeah, and then we can know how much money you left and you need to decide how much money you want to put into the live trading market. And the third step is that since this strategy developed by someone else, the quant, so he already set up the uh, step loss point and the take profit point for you. Of course, you can uh, modify if you don't like it. Otherwise, just stay it as, as is. And, and here it tells you that uh, since you your take profit point targeting to 30% and you just uh, you just, uh, uh, last day, you just put uh, 300, right? So the expecting earn is 90. So this, this strategy, this uh, strategy developer, I mean, the coin uh, uh, ask, ask you to, they will request 2% of your earn. Uh, so that 2% of 90 will be 1.8. So you have to deposit this money first. And if, if, if it is successfully been locked down, then you can go to the next step. So the, that's the last step. So this step told, uh, tell you that if, you, if for whatever reason your bot has been terminated and how do you want our platform to do uh, the open position for you? So if you click the first option, it, it tells that uh, play, please help me, platform, please help me to, to uh, sell my open position with, uh, with market price. Otherwise you just keep it the position uh, at, uh, on your own. So, so you can just hit the live trade button. So uh, four step just take you through, uh, just, uh, just help, uh, just uh, uh, give you 
uh, so right now the, the, the trading bot has been launched. Yeah. So, so our platform uh, help, uh, you know, even a, uh, a novice to, to do the, the live trading easily without any parameter configurations and without any upfront fee. Yeah. So uh, pretty much uh, well, that, that's what we have been uh, doing. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah, that's it. That's great. So let's open it up for questions. Yeah, please. See, and if you stop the sharing, then we can see people's faces. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Any questions? All right, I'll I'll get us started. Okay. So uh, I was thinking that you know thinking about this, there's an intersection of some pretty technical disciplines: quant, finance, blockchain, and um, um, in the you know building a SaaS product. How how did you decide to build this? And you know talk about the platform choices that you made, and how long did it take to build version one? That'll give people time to think of more questions. Yeah, no, sounds good. I think I can kind of dive into the tech stack and also the architecture that we chose. So the tech stack, um, I'll break it down from different levels, front end, back end, and data storage and infrastructure. So for front end, we chose to use uh, React and also uh, Next.js. And the reason for that is Next.js supports server-side rendering. So a lot of them we serve, um, a lot of them like the land landing page can be statically generated and for a lot of data intensive pages, such as the price graph, we can have the front end server talk to uh, the back end server in the same cluster first, load the data, and then we serve it to the front end. So the front end we use Next.js, and for the back end we use GraphQL. Um, for the sake of ease of um, developer experience, since GraphQL compared to your RESTful API, does it have a re really strict sigma, meaning schema, meaning that front-end developer can easily adjust what type of data or they want to get. So instead of sending, let's say you want a user, instead of sending everything about an user, you can just have front-end developers select specific fields. So back-end will be done with GraphQL and everything is done with TypeScript. So it's strongly typed, um, can help our code base scale and can help developer work together better. And in terms of the data storage, since we're storing backtesting, so a lot of historical data by minute, meaning that we have to get the open, low, close, high volume data for each pair at each minute. So we're storing that with a specific time series database called InfluxDB, comparing, com compared to the solution of like Postgres or your MongoDB like NoSQL, um, we feel like having a specific log sub, um, oriented or time series database can do the job better since we have to do some aggregation pivoting. And for the application logic, um, we just store that into your Postgres QL. So nothing too fancy there. So in terms of the entire infrastructure, as you can see, we have a lot of moving pieces and everything is done through microservices. So backend, exchange, launching a broker, their own, their, 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 their own um, services. And they either talk to each other through um, a message queue so we have the event-driven architecture or they talk to each other through RESTful API. And all the microservices are handled through Kubernetes. So everything is orchestrated um, by Kubernetes. And the entire environment is hosted on Google Cloud. And our database, our analytics, so we use BigQuery, and then we also use GKE, the GCP managed version of um, Kubernetes. So everything is done by the CSCD pipeline automated all the services are built through the Docker CI/CD, and then deploy automatically to staging. And we'll have a chatbot that will automate the deployment to uh, production once we have re reviewed the, uh, sta the staging. Yeah, so this is the overview from <laughs> across all the stacks. Um, feel free to ask any questions. Um, we have a question in the chat from Jeffrey Williams. In the market, who will be the most excited about this? And what do they pay for the alternatives that exist today? So essentially, we are tailored to two types of user. The investor, people who want to just make money, and the people who want to build bots. 
So let's talk about Kong first. So people who know Python, know a bit about finance and want to automate their own trades. For those people, the pain points without our solution, they will have to set up the API themselves. They will have to build the entire infrastructure themselves. They will have to make sure it runs reliably themselves. But with our platform, we handle all the technical complexities so we allow developers focus just on the trading logic. And, get, and then we also provide all the data, like, let, let, uh, like I mentioned before, the times three data that we're just constantly storing and updating. So for the, for the developer, it will be very exciting since they, they now don't have to worry about anything technical. They can just focus on the, 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 the trading logic. And for the investor, people who want to use trading bots, there are existing solutions platforms that offer trading bots, but the trading bots are developed by the platform. Meaning that you think, think of it as Airbnb has their own houses or Uber has their own cars. So if, if the car is bad or the houses are bad, then it's on the platform. But for us, we are like Airbnb or Uber, we don't have any bots ourselves. We just provide tools for other people to provide bots. Meaning that, uh, so that's the huge differentiation, meaning that people come to the platform have access to a wide array of bots instead of limited number of bots built by the platform. So um, what do they pay for the alternative? Yeah, so, so they'll usually pay for those existing grid or um, bots developed by the platform that's standardized. And those bots, since everyone just kind of use the same bots, they can saturate the effectiveness, effectiveness of the bot easily. But for the platform, we have limit on how many people and how much money can go into each bot. So we can kind of prevent the saturation. And for how, how will I make money? It's usually through a subscription model. So in order for quant or investor to have access to the tool or the marketplace called Arena, they will have to pay a monthly subscription. And also from each um, trade, from each, um, when an investor use a bot, we will take a cut from it too. Yeah, another revenue uh, we, we can have is the rebates from exchanges. We are right now a certified brokers for uh, top uh, exchanges in the world. And, and the funny and interestingly, uh, we have been found by exchanges, not us to found, not, not we, we ourselves to, to fund exchanges. Yeah, so uh, meaning that the market uh, just a little bit, you know, uh, going to automatic trip, automatic crypto trading. Uh, since, uh, you know, as you know, uh, during the past two years, institutional trader uh, jumping in, in the crypto world so that the retail, you know, investors, you know, gain less and less, uh, you know, profit. So eventually they will go to, you know, auto automatic trading platform to seek for, you know, you know, scientific bots or even more reliable, you know, trading bots, yeah. And yeah, and another question is security control. So as you, as you saw in the platform, we allow people to put their Python code, which is very like sketch. If anyone knows about security, we allow people to execute their own code on, the, on our server. So how do we address that? That's a really good question. So as I mentioned before, we're adopting Kubernetes. And one of the resources they have is pod, like a job. So a pod pretty much is like a containerized runtime. You're able to containerize users code in a container. So one of our cell, like a cell line is that we, we offer a containerized trading bot engine. And that means that we take users code, we package it into a container and we execute the code in the container that is, that is self-isolated, that has no access to mm -hmm. other microservices that we offer. So essentially we done it through gRPC. So gRPC, we have a server and we have a client and a client only has access to the methods or the functionality that would expose to the client. Meaning that a client will not be able to, to access other function and try to call our database or try to do other stuff. So we use gRPC and a containerized um, method to execute people's code. So that's one of the security that we have to think about to prevent user from executing malicious code on our server and try to access databases internally. So through gRPC and a separated architecture to protect them. And uh, yeah, misused. What measure have you implemented to guard against scammers? I think, I think one of the most important stuff is that 
we make um, trading bots. Uh, we make investors the experience of picking a bot very transparent, meaning that if you see a bot on the marketplace, before you even put real money into the bot, you get to transparently backtest and simulate the bot as much as you want. Meaning that you don't have to trust that the bot is good or you don't have to, you, you, you won't necessarily be scammed since, since before you even put real money in, you get to backtest, <clears throat> like just test the historical data and you get to simulate the bot as much as you want until you're confident, then you can put real money in. And, 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 and before a coin can share their bot to the community, we will have some secrets, um, like cri cri criteria there to help um, guard, guarantee the quality and the integrity of a bot. Yeah, can you user develop a test local? Yes, yes, yeah. Yes, yeah, that's it. So we also support a local development. Um, we also support a local development um, way, like a local way for it to develop. So essentially, you can download our SDK. And that will essentially pull in the data from our platform and you're able to have everything like all, all, all your code locally. And then you can pretty much just listen to the data feed and then you have it run locally without giving us any of the code. And speaking back to the security, a lot of people don't want to give us their plan Python code right? because that's our proprietary intelligence. So we allow them to compile it to the bytecode like binary and, and upload the binary onto the platform. So therefore, even us cannot see the code if our database is compromised. Um, they can only, we can only get the results. So we can only be able to call the signature of the function, but we'll not be able to know exactly the logic, like the business logic in your strategy. So we, did, so we do support local development and we do support a binary upload option. And yes, Python code connect to the external resource. That's super, super exciting. We are working on that. So you're able to, make get requests, pull requests to the outside world, call the API all you want. But we do have like a whitelisted API endpoint just so that you're not like downloading malicious software or you're not using it as a proxy to do, I don't know. So that is under development. And we're also talking to the Berkeley Master of Financial Engineering students. So those people are, uh, they have worked in industry quant and we're trying to host trading competition with them. So they have requested a machine learning feature so we actually just added second learn onto the platform and we allow people to upload their own model and use the machine learning model within the strategy and with this possibility you can connect to a lot of external resources that you want stock market weather data it's up to you it's like uh, your sky, sky sky is the limit and we're building these connectors that are able to bring external data into the strategy so with python i think that's really exciting since we can use a lot of it and last, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, I'm, I think we're super open to more idea that we can yeah. do with, 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 with Python. And, and lastly, uh, just because we just try, just try to celebrate our launch. So uh, please uh, let me know if you are really interested in uh, using our platform, you can just write an email to Bill and then we can provide uh, the gift code for our one month startup program for free. Yeah, and also if uh, anyone of your anyone of you have some uh, you know opinion or suggestion, just please just let, let us know. And also, we want to recruit uh, marketing intern. If you know somebody who is really fit, just let me know as well. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. And thank you. Team. Um, great. That was awesome. And. Let's see, we'll give you the clap emoji. And so thank you. And now we're going to shift gears and something completely different. It's entirely fascinating. 